clearly this year has been very different for all of us and I suspect it's not been anything close to what we'd hoped for a year ago. I'm guessing that for many of us it's not been a great year but I've got to say that I've got positives to take away from the year 2020, strange as that perhaps may seem. As those of you who know me may well be aware, I had three months off work sick in 2019 with depression and there's no hiding from the fact I found things quite tough at times. And I won't lie, when I was initially sent home from work a week before the first lockdown, I was absolutely dreading it. I did not fancy being stuck at home all day, every day, even though I was still working. I was going to miss my colleagues, miss Flitic singers' rehearsals, and miss all the things that I do with church and family and friends. But now, looking back on things just over eight months later, things have been nowhere near as bad as I thought. And for me, I've got positives to take out of lockdown and working from home. Since mid-March, I've spent precisely two hours in the office in Milton Keynes, and that was in September. And I won't be surprised if I complete a year or more of working from home before I'm back regularly with my colleagues. I'm very aware that I'm fortunate I've been able to continue to work from home, continue to still do my regular job. And actually, I found that I've been more productive at home as there are less distractions from colleagues. And I've just been able to get on with what I do for Network Rail. As a team, we're a team of 24. We do all keep in touch through Microsoft Teams during the day. And I'm very conscious that some of our colleagues have not found things at all easy. And it's been good that I've been able to be there to talk to them when they've been finding life tough, just as they were for me when I was finding things tough. Sharon, my wife and I did manage to get away to North Yorkshire for a few days in the summer. But other than that, I spent the vast majority of 2020 here in Luton. And I'm sure it's the same for many of us. We've been in and around the house pretty much most of the year. Like many others, I've got used to attending meetings and rehearsals through Zoom and other media. I've recorded hymns with the Olive Tree musicians and singers, with the circuit singers, with the National Methodist Choir, and ready for our Zoom concert next week with the Flitic singers. All very different, but still very rewarding. As for my mental health, I have to say that I am feeling so much better. But why is that? I think it's because at the start of lockdown, I stepped back from everything other than work. And then I've gradually picked things up again, including the new role of Circuit Steward, which so far I'm enjoying a lot. But also ensuring that I don't take up too much and overdo it again. Sharon is very much keeping tabs on what I'm doing and she'll soon tell me when I'm doing too much. So when I look back at 2020 and assess a year at a personal level, I see it as a year of restructure. And I think in that sense, I suspect that I'm probably in the minority of people who's going to come away from 2020 saying it's been a positive year, certainly a positive year at a personal level. And of course, behind all that was God. I spent quite a lot of the early part of lockdown in prayer and reminding myself that God is always there, even when times are tough. In a moment, I'll share with you a couple of very short passages from the Bible that remind us that God is there, whatever is going on in our lives. And they're both passages that I use many times when I've been finding life tough. And the first one is from Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7. Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And then from Isaiah 
chapter 41 and verse 10. Isaiah 41 verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Two passages that I certainly keep in mind for when I do find things tough, or I'm just having a tough day with work, or whatever it might be that's going on in life at the time. Clearly, I think we all hope that 2021 sees a start to return to some kind of normality, whatever that new normal is going to be. And hopefully 2021 will be a positive year for all of us. God bless you all.